Hi everyone. Hope you're doing good and staying safe. In this video, we'll be looking into something called delay damages. So this is a very, very simple concept, but still most quantity surveyors get confused with. And as a quantity surveyor, if you're working in the contract department or if you are planning to shift into a more contractual responsibilities then definitely you should be knowing this term so i'll be trying to explain this in two ways one is more in a contractual way and one using an excel sheet as per the actual scenario i will be making you understand how delay damages are calculated so as per fidic the delay damages clause is 8.7 so it mentions that if the contractor fails to comply with the sub clause 8.2 that is time for completion the contractor shall subject to sub clause 2.5 that is employer's claim pay delay damages to the employer for this default these delay damages shall be the sum stated in the appendix to tender which shall be paid for every day which shall elapse between the relevant time for completion and the date stated in the taking over certificate However, the total amount due under this subclause shall not exceed the maximum amount of delay damages if any stated in the appendix to tender. And these damages shall be the only damages due from the contractor for such default other than in the event of termination under subclause 15.2 termination by employer prior to completion of the works. These damages shall not relieve the contractor from his obligations to complete the works or from any other duties obligations or responsibilities which he may have under the contract so basically what this clause mentions is that there is a time for completion mentioned in every contract every project will have a time for completion that needs to be adhered to and if at all this completion time is not satisfied by the contractor due to their problems then the employer can fine you that fine is basically what is called delay damages and this claim can be done as per subclause 2.5 that is employer's claim and this damages claim is put forth in terms of days that is for each day a particular amount is included in the appendix to tender that is normally when you receive a tender to fill up there will be an appendix to tender wherein you have to fill this delay damages percentage or an amount so mostly when you get the tender document there will be a contract document also there might be mentioning this delay damages like 0.01 percentage of the contract amount per day will be the damages and there will also be a limit normally it will be around 10 percentage of the contract amount so when you fill this tender documents and in the appendix to tender you can accept that damages delay damages that is being put forth by the client you may also reject it and you can put forward your amounts that you think is better or what you think is fair enough so you might think that a 0.01 percentage which is being considered by the client is not fair you can put something lesser than that 0.005 percentage of the contract amount per day as the delay damages and you can mention that in the appendix to tender so accepting it or not is under the client's discretion so normally it might be an amount if you are in uae and the currency will be in dirham so it, it might be 2500 dirhams per day of the delay and the delay is actually calculated from the taking over certificate and the total amount due the maximum limit that is also mentioned here that will also be mentioned in the appendix to tender another thing mentioned under this clause is that this delay damage that is being issued is only for this default that is for not completion as per the contractual date due to the different reasons of the contractor there is another clause that is 15.2 that is termination by employer where the employer can terminate the contract due to different reasons and under that condition different other types of fines or fees or claims can also be put on the contractor so this is exclusively for delay damages and also these damages shall not relieve the contractor from his obligations to complete the works so even if he is delaying the works it is his right to complete the work he cannot stop the work at that 
moment and he cannot you know forego from his duties or obligation now this is how an appendix to tender looks like wherein you have to fill the delay damages for the works and the maximum amount of delay damages the 8.7 is the sub clause 14.15 b is normally the clause wherein it is mentioned which currency is used for that particular work that contract if it is in uae it will be the rums if in india it will be in rupees so here you have to mention what is the percentage so where there is a blank you can fill the percentage of the final contract price per day will be the damage in the currencies and proportions in which the contract price is payable so whichever currency is applicable and also the maximum amount whatever percentage 10 percentage will be the maximum limit of the delay damage that can also be mentioned here so this is how an appendix to tender looks like now we will see an excel sheet how these delay damages are calculated i have done a calculation so that it will be more simple and clear so here for example the contract price is 10.5 million aed and you are putting forward your delay damages as 0 0.01 percentage of the contract price per day so that will be equal to 0 0.01 here if you see the formula 0 0.01 percentage into 10.5 that is around 1050 AD per day is your delay damages and the maximum amount that you are agreeing to is 10 percentage of the contract price so that is 10 percentage of 10.5 that is around 1.05 million so that will be the maximum limit of the delay damages so now we are assuming that the time for completion was 31st december 2020 today's date is 19 december and until now the project has not been completed so the delays number of days of delay is 353 that is today's date minus the actual completion date so 353 is the number of days so the delay damages that the employer has the right to deduct is C9 into E3 that is number of days into 1050 because as per our calculation 1000 each day the delay damage is 1050 AD per day. So 350 into 1050 will be the delay damages until date. So hope this concept is clear. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to Quantity Surveying Studio for more such informative videos. Stay safe. Bye.